spreaders on a sailboat are the horizontal struts used to hold out the stays that support the mast. On modern sailboats, spreaders are typically made of aluminum. However, on my 40-year-old boat, the spreaders are made of wood. After stripping varnish to refinish the spreaders, it was obvious significant rot was present and they needed to be replaced. This video will show how I made a new set of wooden spreaders for my Catalina 30 sailboat. I'm using quarter sawn Sitka spruce for its clear straight grain and light weight. The first step is to use my jointer to flatten the face of the board. I also use the jointer to square one edge. Next, I resaw this thick piece of spruce into two halves with my bandsaw. The planer is used to make the sides parallel and bring the final thickness down to one and three eighths of an inch. I now have two spreader blanks to work with. With the jointed edge against the fence, the boards are ripped to width with my radial arm saw. The spreaders need to be tapered. To do this, I use a taper jig with my radial arm saw. I carefully set up the jig and make some dummy passes until I'm satisfied with the angle and blade position. If I were to cut all the way through the board, the angle of the taper jig would need to be changed for the second cut on the other side. Therefore, I set the saw depth to leave about 3 eighths of an inch of wood remaining. This allows me to just flip the board over and cut the other side with the same setup. I finish the cuts with a handsaw. Now it's back to the joiner to clean up and fine tune the edges of the taper.
I begin shaping the ends of the spreader by using a drill to cut the inner radius. Scroll saw is used to round the ends. A large roundover bit is used to ease the edges of the spreader on my router table. A chamfer bit is also used to ease the ends of the spreader. The spreaders are now taking shape. The ends are sanded and rounded to fit the metal end caps. The holes are drilled for the mounting brackets. I countersink some of the holes so butyl tape can be used as a sealant. This hole with a metal insert provides a place to tie the stay to the end of the spreader with stainless baling wire. The tube is epoxied into the hole. The spreaders are coated with a penetrating epoxy. Since the epoxy is not UV resistant, the spreaders need several coats of a UV protective varnish. Here you can see the butyl tape around the bolts used to help seal the holes. And that's how I made these new wooden spreaders for my sailboat. Thanks for watching.